Mankind has always looked to the stars. Since time immemorial, the universe has been a source of fascination and fundamental questions. What else is out there? How was all this created? Where do we come from? When we talk about spaceflight, we think of rockets and astronauts and adventurous journeys to far off worlds. But real spaceflight takes place very close to us in Earth orbit and unmanned. Well over a thousand satellites are circling our planet, providing pictures and information faster and with greater precision than ever before. Without satellites, life in our modern world would be inconceivable. Welcome to Space Time with Ulrich Walter, astronaut and scientist. He knows, in space, incredible things are in store for us. Satellites determine our everyday lives, presenting a view of the Earth from space, guiding data flows through orbiting, providing mankind with information. These are the true achievements of spaceflight. But through ultra-sensitive sensor and camera technology, radar beams and measuring techniques, satellites also provide us with views of the Earth earlier generations could never even have dreamt of. The last 10 or 20 years have seen great achievements in Earth observation. Take optical telescopes, for instance. Today, they have a resolution of 20 to 25 centimeters. In other words, details of such minute size are visible from space on Earth's surface. We can transmit radar beams to Earth and see the reflected beam not only by day, but also by night. We can even look through clouds. Radar interferometry enables us to determine digital elevation models with an accuracy of 10 centimeters. In the infrared range, we can observe the growth of corn. We can see precisely when a specific variety is ripe. In other words, we have got our world under control. But do we really need that? Satellites are among mankind's greatest inventions. We don't notice them, but they influence every second of our daily lives. And satellites not only determine everyday life in a modern world, they also keep a watchful eye on our planet. Thank you.